Mm. Mm. Oh, coffee, right. If you're looking for upcoming adventure games, then you are in the right place. Welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point click adventurer, and this is Trailer Talk, the show where I'm gonna be looking at three upcoming adventure games. If you love the genre as much as I do, then please hit that subscribe button because I do purely adventure game content from classics like Monkey Island and Broken Sword through to brand new games that are coming out soon. Also down on there, please hit that like button as well to show your support. Thanks very much. Before we delve into the first trailer, I just want to say that scene behind us, not Melee Island, but the tinsel. It is Christmas, it is December, so if you're watching this in June, I'm not crazy, but it's, it's December right now. Anyway, let's head into trailer number one. Let's go. Let's just do it. Everything began six months ago, the day of the wreck of the AES Annabelle Lee. I could never imagine that my salvation would come in the form of the monster that destroyed my own ship. Later, I understood that my extraordinary journey started right there. Mr. Byrne, we are on the right path. Go on. These words, I've heard them before. Vern, what do you fancy more? A quick death beneath the sea or a long life of tortures in one of the nation's penitentiary mines? Move! How could a bookworm like me stop the most intelligent and boldest man in heaven? Vern, The Shape of Fantasy, comes from Gametopia and is out in 2021. It follows the adventure of Jules Verne, the author of Journey to the Center of the Earth. However, it is not based on his actual works. It is a fictitious fantasy world in his own head. So couple that with the amazing art that they've got going on there, and it's an absolute no-brainer for me. I'm really excited for this one. And talking about pixel art, here's trailer two. Pender Post Studios are coming out with Rendezvous next year. It looks very, very much like China's Hound Detective Agency, also out next year, and a little bit like Backbone. That pixel art aesthetic is really popular right now, and I salute it, I love it. In terms of the story, you're an ex-agent, and you know, you're living low, and of course your family gets embroiled in something or other, and so you come out of retirement. It's a classic story, let's face it. Although pixel art, it does look like there's quite a lot of action going on here, so I'm not sure about the puzzle element, we'll just have to wait and see. And for me, I'm trying to wait up between Backbone, Chinatown Detective Agency and this game to kind of see where it stands, and I guess only time will tell. We are staying in the future for our third trailer, but before we head there, please go down there and hit that like button. I really, really appreciate it. Let's go. last night. Gina, I do not think they were here to arrest us for loitering. Sam? Yes, Tina? How old are you? It's Tina, my human. I must protect her. Find Sam. My fingers are too big to fit in there. Yes. We'll 
give us all we need. Incompetent! The whole lot of you! The world needs you to see this mission through. Encodia is a demo that I played in the Steam Game Festival way back in the summer sometime and I really really liked it. I gave it some, some pretty good marks with the art being top notch, the story involving and the characters well developed. It is finally released on the 26th of January. The story here is we are in Neo Berlin in 2060 something and we play Tina, a young girl with her robot Sam 53. In the demo that I played we had to get back home using you know adventure game things and it was very enjoyable. I'm very much looking forward to this game coming out after playing the demo in the summer because it was really really good. The demo was about an hour or so but I believe the full game is between six to eight hours. And there we have our three trailers this week. I'm very much looking forward to Vern but also Encodia and Rendezvous was on there as well. Mm, I think maybe Vern just about pips it. Let me know in the comments which one you are most looking forward to and also if there are any more future games that you want me to have a look at. Be sure to follow me on all the socials and until next time, take care.